Palm Springs police are on the lookout for a person responsible for backing his car into medical marijuana dispensaries at least three times in the past couple of weeks. KMIR 6's Angela Monroe joins us with why police believe all three incidents are related. Angela. Well, for one, the vehicles used to crash into the marijuana shops were both stolen Honda Accords. And in all three cases, nothing was taken, but there was major damage to the storefronts. Wood panels covered the gaping hole in the front of the Holistic Collective. We awoke and we were really saddened by the news that our building had, had been destroyed like this. Inside, you can see the damage from the vehicle backing into the store at 2 a.m. Monday. A car just smashed in through our window. Uh, we're really not quite sure exactly what's going on. We're working with the Palm Springs Police Department to bring to justice who did this. And this isn't the first time. Earlier this month, someone did similar damage at a different marijuana dispensary miles away. In each of these incidents, a stolen vehicle was backed into the front of the business causing structural damage. Uh, no entry was made. It wasn't a burglary attempt at any means. March 3rd, the suspect fled in the vehicle they used to ram the building. On March 8th, the person tried to light the vehicle on fire. After backing into the business, they failed and ran away. This third time, a stolen gray Honda Accord was used to bash this building. The car was left behind. In each of these incidents, the vehicles were stolen Honda Accords taken from Cathedral City. In the second case, a suspect was described as a white or Hispanic man in his late teens to mid-twenties wearing a light-colored baseball cap with a dark brim, a dark hooded sweatshirt, dark pants, and black and white shoes. A volunteer at the Holistic Collective says it's not just the hole in their building that's upsetting, it's the void this leaves for their members. It's really saddened because it's the members who suffer. It's not the the people who actually are together with the collective but it's the members they can't receive their medication now because of this so the funds they have to help members with donations now will have to go towards fixing the building and if you do have any information on the string of marijuana shop vandalisms you're asked to call palm springs police back to you gino